Today is a day of healing and of remembrance for all those that have lost loved ones, especially children, both here in Saginaw and across the country. For me, the importance behind it is to remember those that are gone, the victims that were taken by homicide. Barbara Clark experienced this type of loss when her son was killed at the age of 17. She says his death was devastating, but has led to an even higher purpose for her. To this day, God has given me strength. He's given me courage to go on and try to be an advocate. Courage that led her and others to establish the Saginaw County Chapter for Parents of Murdered Children a place for Barbara to heal in a group setting with other grieving parents. People stop living after they lose a loved one, and we want them to encourage to live on because your loved one would want you to live on. They would want you to be there to help somebody else. On this National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims, people were asked to write victims' names on red balloons that were released together. An act, survivors say, is a way to let some pain float away. And then you have survivors, that's us, we're the survivors that's left behind, and we need support. And that's why POMC, the local chapter, has been established. The Saginaw chapter of the Parents of Murdered Children was only founded earlier this year, but they have plans to continue their support long into the future. In Saginaw, Ahmed Badgie, NBC 25 News.